All right, bet. Let's get straight to it. Can you analyze ES1 on a five? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now I've actually built out my own agent and I used a framework from another YouTuber that created a trading bot and it's able to call charts from chartimage.com and apply a general analysis on it. It's a retail analysis. But what I've done is I've kind of programmed it to understand ICT concepts, market structure, liquidity, you know, smart money concepts, things like that. So I want to see how Madness performs against my bare bones um, prototype, you can call it. So Madness is working. Fetch ES1 market data for five minute time frame. Wow. I'm encountering a rate limiting issue with Yahoo Finance API when trying to fetch ES1 data. The API returned a request too many error message. Let me try an alternative approach to retrieve and analyze the e-mini S&P 500 futures data for you. All right, cool. That's interesting. It's trying to pull in the info from Yahoo Finance API. So that might be what by stock <clears throat> it's, it's working with. So I'm going to assume that it probably worked well with a, a general stock. So it's still working. That's yes, one market data using retry mechanism. Okay, so. Okay, so this is my trading bot. Can you analyze the ES1 on the five minute time frame? All right, so Manus is still searching. Manus, it looked like you're getting busy. I see Polygon IO. Okay, it's got that API. I think it's good. I think that's all it needed. Oh, no, no, no. Polygon IO doesn't offer futures yet. So it's going to look for another API. Okay. After exploring alternative data source, I found that several options exist like a Polygon. Polygon doesn't work. Data Bento, yes. First rate, yes. I use Data Bento on first rate data. So that's accurate. But they require paid subscriptions, API keys that don't currently have access to. Wow. Nice. So, so what I'm getting here is what I'm going to actually try to do is use my API keys with Manus and see how it performs versus my, my chatbot, which <laughs> I have an idea is going to, is going to outperform it. Just, mine's kind of just like a, right, right now, essentially how I look at it is N8N is kind of like a nervous system for these, for these agents. And then you still have to have a build and you got to have a, like some kind of brain, right? So it's early. I'm just waking up. I just wanted to try it out. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is done. Okay. So we got some technical analysis for E-mini S&P futures. E-mini S&P futures is currently trading at 50, 82, 50.
Okay, so it's actually trading at 56.80, so that's wrong. Showing a slight decline of 50 points on final chart. What we got, what we got? Key price levels, 56.86. Support, 56.58. <laughs> support, so that retail support, I would look at that as some kind of sell side liquidity, 56.58. 56.58, that's sell side right here. 56.58, I mean, that's that's just about right. 56.58, okay, that's accurate. Sell side liquidity, yeah, 56.58, 56.86, interesting. That's what it is. Nope, 56.68, that's I wonder where it's getting this. Uh... Okay, order blocks. A significant bearish order block is formed around 56.86. Okay, so that's why it's liquidity. Smart. 56.86. Nice. Okay. That's a bearish order block. A bullish order block is visible with the reversal around 56.58. Okay. Okay. Where the fair okay fair value gap like we formed during a sharp bullish move from 7:30 to 9. This is UTC time is that is based off of so I'm just going UTC 7:30 to 9. So this fair value gap this inversion. It's not necessarily talking about the inversion, but it's saying like we formed during the sharp move from 7.30 to 9. So it understands that there's some kind of liquidity or, or fair value gap here, which is interesting. So let's go back to Manus, see what we got. Okay, it's still going. I haven't got anything from Manus yet, but I can't. I'm going to let it run just for the sake of this video. And then the next video will be with, now that I know that, I can actually you know attach certain API keys. I'm going to give it that data. Well, I don't know if I can, but I know that it was looking for it. And if it had it, it probably would work. 